Thanks so much, Jill. A great morning for you. Uh, well, you might think your pooch is pampered, but this is going to take it to a whole new level. I love this. Amanda Searing is with the Paw House Pet Boutique with everything you need for your four-legged friend and more, promise me. And uh, Amanda, welcome back to BT. Thanks for bringing the, the crew in this us. morning. You betcha. I'm going to introduce us to the stars of the, of the show here. And actually, I'll get you to introduce. We've got... Uh, th is this May May? This is May May. This is May May. This is one of your little ones. You betcha. And our next star is going to be Miko. Where's little Miko? Miko's Miko. hiding away in there. Miko's okay? in her sling. And we've got Shiloh in Arizona, um, whom whom are rescue dogs from ARCS, and which is a great program. We've talked about them on the show. Uh, we have kind of an an unorganized fashion show we're going to show. Um, and so we're just going to get that underway right now. And we uh, let's uh, show off what May May has on today, Amanda. Um, well, May May has the bathrobe that, uh, can you just throw me that? That's great for any spa after a bath. You can just put them on them. It's perfect for bonding. It's perfect for just snuggling up. Now, does May May like her bathrobe? <laughs> she does, because it keeps her nice and warm, and she's kind of a cuddler. Oh, my goodness. So it's just easy to put on. Actually, it is. Look at that. And, and they're cozy just... and warm. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't want a bathrobe like that? May Come May. Come on, baby. Come on. We're so proud of you. Look Good at girl. that. Okay. Who knew? I didn't know they did bathrobes <laughs> for dogs, but they do. Come All on, right. May. Thank you, May May. And who's our next star? Next, we have Miko. Miko snuggled Come on in up, Miko. Her, her sling. And it's perfect for carrying your dog around for little puppies, for um, older dogs, if you want to just get Miko them. Miko kind of just blends right in there, <laughs> doesn't he? Beautiful. And this is, yeah, obviously for the little dogs out there yeah. who, uh, who love to be carried around. All right. And next comes Shiloh. And Shiloh's giving the camera a little look-see for us right now. Shiloh's wearing one of her birthday collars. Aww. Just to let people know when it's her special day, which should probably be every day. And Shiloh's available for adoption through ARCS. Through ARCS. So she's this is a rescue dog. Five months old right now. And she's beautiful. We, I, I chatted with her a little earlier on, and she's gorgeous. She's got a great uh, personality. <laughs> Thank you so much. And, and Arizona's hiding, so we're going to bring Arizona. Yvonne, you have Arizona. Can you bring Arizona around the bend here for us? Or, it's like herding cats sometimes <laughs> with dogs, isn't it? Arizona's on got up, one of Arizona. our designer hemp collars and leashes. And she's sporting a little bling on her collar with a hand-blown glass bauble. Kind of nice to personalize. And you said that's a hemp um, leash. Yeah, collar and leash. It's made out of a hemp material. So it, it wears really well. It's washable. And for dogs that have allergies, it's perfect for having around them. And Arizona's about six, month and all, six months and also um, an ARCS dog, so available for adoption. Very cute. Come on over here, Amanda. G give up the hounds. We're going to have a tour here of the table and look at some other things that are out there for our dogs. This is a, a carrier, and, and I like about this is it's fairly neutral for the guys. Yeah, it's perfect for men, especially businessmen. It looks like a briefcase. It does. It's easy to handle. It's got a nice strap or the handles. Um, so you can put your pooch in there, and no one would even be the wiser that you've got a little dog in there. Look at that. That's really clever. And you were showing, showing these off a little bit earlier on. These are... Uh, some collars with just kind of personalized little things yeah. on them. They're made from a Calgary artist, actually, and they're hand-blown glass beads. So it's just a little bit of flash to put on. You can put it on a plain collar or a designer collar like the ones we carry. And uh, it just gives them something yeah. special to, to yeah. show off. Now, I was reading about these on your website, and these are, these are an awesome idea. Tell me about them. These are made from a company in the U.S. and they're made of a recyclable material. So they're guaranteed to be really tough and strong. Mm -hmm. And even when you're done with them or if the dog's done playing, if they've got a little rough around the edges, you can send them back and they will recycle them to make another new toy. So you're kind of getting into the, the green, earth-friendly type I of thing. idea. And if you have an aggressive chewer like I, I have, those, you'll go through them like crazy. The, the little booties, we've all seen them in the dog park. We all love them. And uh, here's an example of some of the ones you have on your website. These are uh, a really neat type because they've got an, an insole inside of them oh, that it has a memory crazy. foam. So you zip them up and they can wear them and <laughs> go trekking. They can go to the beach. They can go in the mountains. They can go just around the block. So they're perfect. And um, poop bags. 
These Ooh. are designer poop bags. Oh, designer. They, are, they actually match our everything but the dog bags. Oh, my goodness. Which you can mix and match. You can color coordinate. And the bags come with um, a blanket and a food and water bowl. So it's like a, a diaper bag for this dogs. This is like a baby bag that I have at home for my daughter. Yeah, it's perfect for weekends at grandma's, camping, um, going to daycare so they've got all their stuff in one bag and you're not scrambling around trying to figure out where all your, your necessities are. Do so. you find a lot of your customers, really for them, their, their pets are their babies. Absolutely. And so they don't mind really splurging on them. Oh, they? absolutely. I mean, for me it's the same thing. Our dogs are our, our little babies. And absolutely. So it's fun. What else do we have here? You've got some, uh, some cleaning products. Pampering your pets is like one of the big things right now with different spas and grooming. So if you don't take your pet to the groomers and you want to pamper them at home, you've got shampoo and conditioner, you've got a paw balm, which is to help keep their paws soft. And it also comes with a uh, soap on a rope that's oh, bone shaped. So. A soap on a rope that's bone shaped. Crazy. <laughs> Some more toys. I, I, I go through a lot of these in my home. Oh, we like the squeakers. <laughs> The dogs all hear that. These are great. Are these uh, these are are these local or where do you get they these? They are. From? They're made by a Calgary artist, mm -hmm. and um, she makes them especially for us. And it's kind of a nostalgia thing for people who had them when they were kids. Yeah. And the dogs love them. Everyone who's got one has emailed me or told me that their dogs just carry them everywhere. So yeah, anything that squeaks, my dog yeah. loves. <laughs> I want to jump to these because these are really cute for a party. Yeah. If birthday parties for your dogs are a hot thing right now. So we've got things that you can bake your own little muffin, bone cakes. Everybody gets um, a hat. Everyone gets a hat. We even carry a cake mix that you can just whip up and it's dog friendly. There's no sugars or anything harmful for them in there. So it's fun. You can have your own parties. Yeah. And you know, there are so many things. Amanda's website is the Paw House Pet Boutique dot com and this is where you go to find all of these products we do love our pets and this is a great opportunity to get some fabulous exclusive stuff thank you amanda that's thanks wonderful for us. thanks to all our pets and uh, once again arcs for some great adoptions of some great pets we're going to take a break here on bt we're talking about postpartum depression after this we're going to be meeting the author tomorrow